What you're about to see shouldn't even be possible. Windows 11 running on a machine that fails every requirement. No TPM, no secure boot, not even SSE 4.2. And yet, it works. This is Tiny 11, Prime Edition. Hi, this is Neil from Apidus, and today I'm going to show you how the best build of the year performs. All right, let's start with the benchmarks. And the first test is one that Microsoft definitely doesn't want you to see, boot time. Now I'm testing on an SSD, four gigabytes of RAM, and a single core processor, pretty much the kind of setup that makes stock Windows 11 start crying before it even loads the logo. So I fired up regular Windows 11 just to see how long it takes to boot up. And honestly, I had enough time to grab a coffee, check my emails, and come back before it finished. Microsoft claims every update makes Windows faster and smoother. But at this point, I think it's just getting heavier with every patch. After watching that spinning circle for what felt like an eternity, it finally reached the desktop at 56.46 seconds. On an SSD, yeah, that's ridiculous. This is 2025, not 2005. And that's exactly why Tiny 11 Prime exists, to show you what happens when Windows stops wasting your time and starts respecting your hardware. Now let's see what happens when we boot up Tiny 11 Prime on that exact same setup. SSD, four gigabytes RAM, single core CPU. And right there, it's done. 28 seconds. That's less than half the time Windows 11 took. To put that in perspective, if your mid-range PC currently boots stock Windows in 10 seconds, Tiny 11 Prime would do it in about five. And on low-end systems, the difference is even more dramatic. Those old laptops that used to take minutes just to wake up now feel instant. That's the power of real optimization. A fresh install of Windows 11 eats 29.8 gigabytes right out of the box. And after updates, it balloons to around 35 gigs. Tiny 11 Prime? Just five. That's nearly one-sixth the size with nothing stripped out. Every feature, every app, every setting still works. It's the same Windows experience, just insanely optimized. Smaller footprint, faster load times, and more free space for what actually matters, your stuff. And here's where things get wild. RAM usage. Windows 11 sits at 2.3 gigabytes just sitting idle, doing absolutely nothing. Tiny 11 Prime, only 1.4 gigabytes. Nearly half. And if you pair it with Velotic, it drops below one gigabyte. That's lighter than most Android phones, yet it still runs full Windows apps flawlessly. Now let's talk about the CPU load, the real test of how optimized an OS truly is. On stock Windows 11, there are 137 background processes, 1,660 threads, and over 55,000 handles constantly running before you even open a single app. That's your CPU and memory wasting energy on things you'll never use. Tiny 11 Prime trims all that fat down to just 94 processes, 1,200 threads, and around 33,000 handles. That's nearly a 40% reduction in total system overhead. In real life, that means smoother multitasking, faster response times, and way fewer background interruptions. Your CPU finally gets to work for you, not for Windows. If you want to squeeze more performance from your PC or you want to install Tiny 11 without losing data, you should check out Velotic. Velotic isn't a cleaner. It's a system overhaul. It raises FPS, cuts lag, and keeps your PC running like it's brand new every single day. CPU and GPU are tuned automatically. Junk files are deleted before you even notice. Hidden slowdowns? Gone in real time. You get over 500 pro-level tweaks, one-click windows, debloat, instant app installs, and smart power management that uh, adapts to how you work or play. It even compresses data safely to free up 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick fix. It's the same technology used by power users and studios to keep systems fast and reliable. Built over three years, tested by thousands, and refined with every update. $19.99 once. Lifetime speed. Zero effort. Velotic. Built for performance users who refuse slow. Next up, Geekbench 6. Quick note, except for the boot test, 
All benchmarks here are done on a four-core processor to give a realistic comparison. Stock Windows 11 scores 2,352 on single core and 6,156 on multi-core. Not terrible, but not impressive either. Tiny 11 Prime, 2,556 on single core and 7,058 on multi-core. That's a noticeable bump across the board. Every core is being used efficiently. Background bloat is gone and the system is finally performing the way it should. In simple terms, Tiny 11 Prime isn't just lighter, it's faster, smarter, and gets more out of your hardware than stock Windows ever will. Now, let's talk about Windows Defender. Some users rely on it, others prefer a third-party antivirus, and some avoid it entirely because of false alerts. Tiny 11 gives you full control. By default, Defender is turned off, but you can enable it anytime. Just open the Configure Toolbox, Go to the Windows Defender tab and click Enable. If you want to start scanning right away, switch on real-time protection from the Windows Security Panel. So, should you use it? Yes, if you often visit unknown websites or download files from untrusted sources. No, if you stick to trusted sites and avoid random downloads. Tiny11 puts the choice in your hands, keeping your system both secure and clean without forcing any unnecessary tools on you. Now let's talk about Windows updates. By default, updates are disabled, but you'll need to enable them if you want to use the Microsoft Store. Don't worry, this won't automatically install any bloat or unnecessary apps. Updates only happen if you manually resume paused ones from the settings. Security updates, however, are handled automatically, so your system stays protected without you lifting a finger. Now let's talk about the Microsoft Store. It works just like on any regular Windows build, as long as updates are enabled. I can't stress this enough. Make sure all updates are turned on through the Configure app. Tiny11 comes with zero pre-installed apps, so you might want to grab a few essentials like Notepad and Calculator or Snipping Tool. Just search for what you need, click Get, and it installs automatically, and simple as that. You can also sign in with your Microsoft or Xbox account to access all your purchased apps and games without any issues. And just like that, we've installed Calculator and it's ready to use. Now we're taking Tiny11 to the ultimate stress test, running it on just 256 megabytes of RAM. That's less memory than most PCs from the 1990s even had. This isn't just for fun. It's part of our release standard. If Tiny11 can't boot on 256 megabytes, it doesn't meet HT and Apatis quality, and any failing builds are immediately dropped. And here it is booting smoothly and fully usable, even under extreme constraints. Imagine that, full Windows 11 running on 256 megabytes of RAM. It won't feel like a gaming rig, of course, but it's fully functional, stable, and responsive for basic tasks. Looking at Task Manager, you'll notice even lower process counts and minimal RAM usage, showing just how optimized this build really is. Tiny11 isn't just light. It's smart, tuned to work for the lowest spec hardware possible. So the test is complete, and the promise is kept, tiny. 11 passes the 256 megabyte challenge with flying colors. That's the level of optimization and dedication that goes into every release. This is a paid build, and here's the truth. Free Windows 11 builds online are loaded with malware, spyware, and hidden junk. With premium tiny 11, you get a clean, fully optimized, and safe PC. One small purchase, zero headaches. Thanks for watching. Link in the description. This is Apidus signing off.